Hey guys, I'm Chris Lloyd from Nashcat Audio, and in today's video we are going to create a track with output plugins. If you are a music producer, you're very much likely to run into an ad by output. They are creating really good plugins for contact by native instruments. These plugins are really good, but they are also a bit expensive. I own free products from Output and I decided to create a video about these. Maybe if you see them in action, you can decide if you need them or not. Before we start the video, I want to let you know that I created my second sample bank. It's called Nashcats Underground House Volume 1. It includes drum samples, top loops, bass lines, leads, pet sounds, also FX, vox and vocals some extra sound and also some sim shots. So if you are looking for a new sound library, check it out. Link is in the description. I also put a coupon code there. And now let's start the video. Now in this video, we are going to use output plugins and for that you need native instruments contact and using contact, it's a really good way to incorporate analog and digital sounding instruments in your music. We are going to use three output products in this video, analog breath and wind, which is kind of a mixture of orchestra sound and legendary synths. Also XL, which is a vocal engine. It's a mixture between vocals and synths. And also Substance, which is a bass engine with heavily processed electric and acoustic basses. Also with analog synths, brass sections or polysynths. And the best in Substance that it don't want to sound real, it's really digital. All of these products are around 200 euros. So by watching this video, it's also a really good way to um, make sure if you need them or not. All right, let's see what I did in previous. I created a simple groove. Now it's a really simple groove. I just used really good samples. If you want to learn how to create a simple groove, feel free to check out my video about that. I'm going to search through the libraries and uh, find some presets that I really like. And after that, I'm going to incorporate them into my production. So. Let's start with the bass. Uh, here you can choose from all different uh, variations. For now, I'm just going to browse through the presets and see if I like something. Maybe in the beginning I go for a sub. Turn this off now, save some CPU. I like this one. Let's work in an A. Volume up a bit. But for now, what I'm going to do is duplicate the substance file and I'm going to freeze the track and flatten it. And now I find another layer for the bass. Oh, this is really nice. pattern. Okay, and let's sidechain them. I'm just going to use Nicky Romero's kickstart. I'm just going to flatten this as well. I'm going to quickly rename everything so I know what I'm working with. From the top base, I'm going to remove the lower frequencies. We don't need them. The sub is taking care about that. Let's try some vocals on these. I'm going to use XL. And in XL you have three modes. You can choose from nones, loops and slices. By slices you can play around with some MPC styles, chop vocals. I'm going to use loops. You can make here everything in the selected scale you are working with. We are working in A minor, so I choose this. Here you can choose major, minor or keep original. Let's see if we can find something good. <laughs> Really nice samples. Let's use something like creative and complex, maybe electro. For this one, I'm going to use Camel Audio, Camel Crusher. Choose the preset British Clean. Also copy the kickstart, clean this up a little bit from the low ends. 
Duplicate this, flatten them to save some CPU, flatten it and copy everything over here. Before we moving on, I want to use another layer for the base. Kickstart off and I'm going to freeze this again. Oh, I deleted one last preset as well. Going back. There's no going back. Okay, there is. All right, I, I deleted it. <laughs> let's do it again. Delete Substance and Exhale for now. And now let's use Analog Brass and Winds. It's one of my favorite plugins. It really well incorporates the analog sound and the digital sounds. You can find really good uh, instruments here. If you just uh, go and play a chord, like a C major. Mm, maybe write something plucky. Wonder if this has plucks. Yeah, I don't really see one. Really nice sounding instrument. this sound let's duplicate this well I deleted everything <laughs> okay let's make this longer so all right I think now we got the melody so we can start layer it I'm going to use this sound I really like it and let's layer it some with some more like something aggressive All right and instead of this I'm going to look for something that plays higher maybe a stab Try to make chords out of these. So the problem with my computer, it's a Mac and it's got a pretty high price <laughs> and 20 gigabytes memory. I think that's not too small, but I need to upgrade it because it's all the towns like doing this, this clicking thing. <laughs> Let's flatten these as well. EQ them first. There's one thing what we didn't try, so I'm going to use again contact. And I'm going to show you how cool pads you can make with, for example, Excel. But you can also do that in an Brass and Winds. Now I'm just going to use like a vocally bed what we can play around with. Um, and let's use one of these presets. <laughs> and choose like a warm uh, bed. Okay, I think it's command shift M. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm going to quit manually. <laughs> shape them. Better is dying in my keyboard. Some some things are not working here. Okay, let's build the track up. God damn it. I don't know if it's <laughs> switching up all the time. <laughs> something always fucking happens when I create something. Copy, paste. went 
terribly wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what, what did I did. It's not the strongest one. <laughs> I don't like this pet sound, so now we got a chance to check out what analog brass and winds can do for us. We need a stronger sub bass. I'm clicking like a motherfucker. Maybe I just do it like this. Alright, and now let's try to put together the song. The sub bass, I'm going to cut off some frequencies. I haven't set the volume levels right, so. Let's see if we would make a break. comes together it should sound nice <laughs> but I'm still not sure and maybe some vocals here I'm down with or we can just wait like four bars can you feel it I'm down with my holes to the left yeah fuck with it oh yeah I'm down with my holes. Down with my holes. Right, so that's it for now. It's not the best project, but I think it works. Uh, we would have a lot of more possibilities if I would not delete all the output libraries, and we could now tweak them and, for example, match this analog breaths and winds because they are uh, sharing the different lengths, which is not a problem, uh, but for now it is. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to mix and master it and I'll be back with the full project right now. All right, this time we are going to listen to the track a little bit differently. I created a music video for that to keep your attention. Enjoy. This video was useful and it helped you a bit. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm down with the holes. I'm down with the